Hey YouTubers, I'm back with a quick and easy tutorial and I'll be teaching you today how to view your iPod or iPhone on your computer. All that you need is a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch and you need to open it up. So once you have Cydia opened, you want to go into the search and you want to download VNC. After that's done, you want to download VSFTPD. I'll put both of those names inside the description box in case you want to know how to spell them. So after you download and install both of those on your iPod, you want to open up your internet browser and wait for that to open up. Okay, so once that's open, the website that you want to go to is www.realvnc.com. I'll put this link in the description box also. So once that's done, you want to click on VNC Downloads. And you can buy it if you want, but for this purpose, we can just use the free edition and it works just fine. It'll ask you for a bunch of your personal info. You can put in if you want to, but I'm not. You can just click Proceed to Download. And the thing that you want to get is VNC Free Edition Viewer for Windows. And you can get the X executable file or the zip arf, arch, archive. So just click download. I'm using the executable version. And you want to click I accept these terms obviously and click download. Just click save file and wait for that. It should be a really fast download. So once that's done you can cross out of your internet browser and you should see something called VNC-4 underscore 1 underscore 3 dash 886 slash win32 slash viewer.exe so just double click on it click run and over here you'll see server and it'll ask you for, it'll ask you to do something so what you want to do is go to your settings on your iPod or your iPhone and make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi you want to click on the Wi-Fi button and when you're connected to Wi-Fi, you should have a check next to whichever one you're connected to. Click on it. After, you should see your IP address. That's what you want to put in. It should be 192.168. The rest of the numbers are yours. I'll be blocking this out. And then after that's done, you want to click OK. So once that's done, you should get a pop-up on your iPod or your iPhone. It should say remote access request and you should have the options accept and reject. You should click accept. And there you have it. There's your iPhone or your iPod. This is my iPod Touch. And it totally works. So you can just click on brightness and adjust everything accordingly. So I know that this is a quick and easy tutorial and I'm hoping this will develop into a series on how to do stuff for your iPod or iPhone. So stay subscribed and I'll see you guys later. Bye.